After more than 150 years, the historic graves of three children are being reunited with the rest of their family. Fox 59's Hannah Fullman spoke with their descendants today and takes us to Whitestown with the full story tonight. The Schoolers were a well-known family in this area, even before Whitestown was officially named. John and Mary Ann Schooler had seven children, and three of their seven children died very young. Sarah Elizabeth, James Oliver, and Andrew. I've heard possibly diphtheria, maybe something with childbirth, but we don't know. The children were buried on the family's plot of land away from the rest of the family who were buried in a nearby private cemetery. Now it's officially time for them to be together again. We as ancestors are excited about getting them with and to their parents. Right now the three graves sit alone alongside a busy road which has been problematic. This first headstone, Andrew's headstone, has been driven over and broken. And so I actually put the pieces back together and put it into a large base so that it'll still preserve what's left of it. Steve Schooler, a fifth generation descendant to the three children, is working alongside Terry Winter. He's done very well. A descendant through marriage and the main caretaker of the cemetery where the children will be going. Definitely respect for the, the children that can't speak for themselves. Um, at one time they were in a safe spot and now they're not so much because of the growth. It's in the best interest for them to be moved in with their parents. This has been a long time coming, but the town council officially approved the move of the three graves earlier this month. The children will now be laid to rest next to their siblings and parents in that private cemetery. It's certainly uh, become um, just very important to get them to hopefully a final resting place and hopefully peace. The graves will be moved in the next few months. For now, reporting in Whitestown, Hannah Fullman, Fox 59 News. Here's what we're working on for Fox 59 News at 10. Some